Hey everyone, welcome back to more Inscription. I'm Disturbing Puppet. So, as you can see, we have defeated three of the bosses. We have one left, who was the head in the jar previously. Uh, we also got some insight on the Leshy, uh, and that he defeated the others and turned them into beasts, which kind of, like, for him was a positive thing. He actually thought it was a very good thing. Like, it's wonderful to be a beast. Um, we kind of got that dialogue earlier, which I just kind of came back to mind and wanted to bring it up. Um, we defeated the robotic boss, so we have the wizard boss left, apparently. Um, I don't know what we're going to have to deal with here, but we've been doing pretty well so far. Just a note on the ground. Then it reads, Greetings! If you're reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me. Magnificus! To a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus! And I think, so the, the diamonds and things are called mocks, like there's something mocks, um, which was a reference, uh, like there was a magic cards called mocks, I think, moxes. Um, but I think before, when we were in the cabin, didn't he say something about mocks being free? Or I thought like mocks sounded like a person based on what he had said before, but I could be wrong. I could be crazy. What do we got here? Okay, it's just random symbols. Um, okay. How many different symbols are there? I don't even know what some of these are. Five, six, six? Something like six. All right, so it's probably some combination we're going to need. Uh, we've got a monocle on the desk. A strange monocle. You put it on. Okay, so yeah, there must be... This is kind of like the eyeball that we had. Any of these have anything on them? Huh. I thought that something might be highlighted, like specific symbols might be highlighted. Because we have a trail from the note to the pillar. Oh, okay. Here we go. So we've got a skull. Skull, wing, skull. Okay. Excellent. Exactly the wrong direction to find these the longest, but oh well. Ah! <laughs> uh, who are you? Hey, it's him. Ah, oh, the pain is unbearable. My, my organs are melting. Yeah, that doesn't sound nice. Do you see? Magnificus turned me into oh, goo for my final exam. Oh, so he's actually not Magnificus. Okay. He's, like, one of the three. I just need to defeat one more challenger. Then, then I'll earn my rightful place. My rightful place on the deck of the Master. Yeah, he's with the Master. Uh, as one of his prize cards. So yeah, Magnificus. So yeah, I guess it was Magnificus, not Mox. I was thinking about that wrong. But I knew he was referring to somebody else, so the person we saw wasn't actually one of the bosses, which was interesting. Ah, oh, nothing will stop me. Okay. Let's see how we do here. Okay, not great. Green mage is equal to the number of green gems the owner has on their side of the table. You've got one emerald box. Uh, yeah, so we definitely don't want that around, preferably. So, what can we do? I don't really like wasting my bone heaps early, but I would like to kill this thing. And or get out the mole man. Um, yeah, that really sucks. Let's... Okay, we're going to sacrifice a bone heap. To play you. Gives me one, so we can play the tomb robber somewhere else. Make a skeleton. Throw the skeleton... Ah, oh, it's too early, isn't it? Yeah, it's not even going to hit. But it's early damage, that's fine. We'll get a... a uh, bone back when he dies anyways. So it's not a huge deal. So we blocked everything. We're relatively good. Okay, so now we can make a skeleton, kill that thing. They won't have any power. Um, is that what we want to do? 
Or we could put out a Draugr, but then it's going to take time to build up. Uh, I'd rather get some killing in, so... Yeah, let's just do this. Give me the skeleton right off the bat. Um, and I'm going to leave a space. I need more bones before I put out the bone heap, because I want to make him bigger and more powerful. Get rid of that, so that makes them weak. Another one is coming. Okay. Now... Okay, the problem is they're going to get more powerful even when he's in the back line. So if I I could play the Mantis God, but I'd have to play it here. Otherwise, they're going to have enough power to kill him when I play him. We could play the Draugr out. Um, I'd rather put the Mantis God somewhere where he's going to hit multiple spots. It just doesn't work that way. So that's unfortunate. Yeah. I'm not really building up my bones either. What do we do? I mean, of course we can do the same thing. Summon a skeleton, kill it, put the Mantis God here. That's not a terrible idea. I guess we'll just do that. So it doesn't really matter where I put you, because I'm going to sacrifice you. Put you there. We've got one. I don't really want to put him out in this spot. I'd like to save if I have more bones, or maybe for a uh, Gravedigger or something. It does mean I'm going to take damage, though. So, yeah, all right, we'll throw him out. Because now they've got some damage coming through. Okay. Got to... They're not really going to do any damage, though. Just lots of green mages. Yeah, slightly irritating. Uh, Alright, we'll just do this. Throw you out there. Okay, a lot of zero power stuff. So the Mantis God's going to keep dishing out some damage for me. Um, he could put stuff in the back row, though, if that's going to increase their power. Uh, for now, I will throw out the Gravedigger, just to build up some bones. If we get a spot, we can throw the Bone Heap out with a bunch of bones. And we will let it ride. Okay, now we'll get some damage in. It's kind of slow, but it's... Sure. Slow and sure. Oh, please. Please, just tell the master I passed. He won't know the difference. Here, take this pack. Magical card pack. Alright, so orange mage... Box cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Okay. Garanji Mox, or Garanja's Mox. Can't be sacrificed. While it's on the board, it provides a green gem to its owner. Also, while it's on the board, it provides an orange gem. So green and orange. Um, yeah, so like this guy would make Moxes have power. Ruby Mox is created in its place when it dies. Yeah, it's some interesting stuff. I think it could be kind of interesting to play around with those, but... I like the deck I've got. We're kind of, uh, you know, focused on undead, so... Here, I can open the door for you. <sighs> okay. Well, I mean, is there anything else here? I mean, there's chests. Inside the chest is covered in sticky green goo, which you find a card pack. Okay, more magical cards. We have Practice Wizard, Oru's Mox. When it's on the board, provides an orange gem to its owner. Also while on the board, provides a blue gem to its owner. Okay. Sapphire Mox. Interesting. Uh, no other boxes. Okay. Uh, probably this is the vendor. Yeah. What's this? Collected cards. Is this my collected cards? I 
think so, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm missing a lot of the magic ones. For the undead, I'm actually still missing quite a few. Three... Eight... Eleven... Yeah, like eleven different uh, undead cards, which is kind of surprising. I do have some cash. I could buy some packs, but I'm not that interested necessarily in changing my deck much. You wish to trade? Yeah, I've got 12. You can buy a magical pack, a uh, stim mage. Paying energy to make him more powerful. Some moxes. Yeah, eh. Got our monocle on. Looking depper. Okay, so it's Thor 3 that we have to defeat. Man, that almost looks like stairs going down. I guess it's just a little wall. Alright, up the stairs. Got something there. Door there. Scary hole. Find a card pack among a heap of sharp implements. Okay, Ruby Golem. Another Orlus. I think we had this before. Orange and blue. Maybe not. Gourmage. Squirrel Ball. Cat. Okay, I don't see any other chests. Um, we do have something here. The dummy stares lifelessly back at you. Then suddenly it springs into motion. Okay. I guess we're fighting. What do we got? Force Mage. If a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. Practice Mage, 0-1. A lot of zero ones. Interesting. Um, so does that just mean it just does damage, then? In which case, why not just do damage? So, yeah, I'm worried that that's going to be an issue. Uh, something probably makes these guys bigger. But for now, I don't know if I want to put out two of you guys. Let's put one here, because if it doesn't hit him, it's got to just hit the player directly, right? So we could potentially get a bunch of damage, just hit the player directly there, and block him from putting additional stuff on the board in those spots. So I'm just going to do that for now. Okay, he did nothing. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's put you there. And... Do I want to put out the other bone heap? Just to be ready. I'm not going to have the bones anytime soon, though, is the problem. Uh, something's got to die for me to get bones. We'll get one. Yeah, let's just play it slow here. Nothing. Okay. Well, give me another grave digger then. Alright, we'll take some free damage and we will buff our bone pile. Okay, so we actually don't do damage. If a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. So that doesn't mean we hit him directly, it means we do nothing. So we've got him kind of locked out, though. So I need to put damage somewhere else. So we'll put you over there. We'll go ahead and make you bigger. And call it good. And we'll make you bigger. Not that we need to, really. Well, actually, we do. That's it. Easy peasy. The dummy's hinges creak back into position, and it returns to its lifeless state. No, lifeless stare. Huh. Okay. It didn't actually do anything. Huh. Okay. Weird. Uh... So there's no hint here, really. There's some stuff there. Huh. <clears throat> don't 
have any symbols except for the force mage one weird okay i wonder if um i think for creature one attack force mage does not so if we put the mantis here it would still hit these other spots so that would still be fine um we'll do this we'll do this we will sacrifice you to put the mantis god out and we'll just throw you there for bones yes yeah, so we got two in what the heck is that when it perishes a ruby mox is created in its place uh okay so that's one of the symbols we need so the first symbol so we need to actually kill stuff to see the symbols so it's skull uh, problem is I'm not gonna be able to kill that. How do I deal with this? Hmm. Okay, we'll do this. We'll kind of wait and see if we can kill off this practice mage and maybe it'll play something else. So it's definitely skull. Skull first. Yeah, that doesn't help me. Yeah, I'm just going to win before I get a chance to do anything. Well, it did give me foils. Okay, so I know the first one is a skull. I wonder if it'll stay if I put it on here. So I could just kind of cycle through, but I need at least two of them if I'm going to do that. So it's skull first. Okay, we need to kill more. I don't know how we're going to do that necessarily. Um, okay. We'll put you here. I need to be able to create skeletons. That's a good way to go. Maybe we'll just nuke the bone pile. We could try to get bones um, with the bone pile eventually, so we could do some damage. So I could just play the bone pile and wait. But I'll need some bones to upgrade it, so it's going to take a little while. Alternatively, I can go ahead and just make, if we put the bone heap out, sacrifice him, put out the mole man, uh, and then we can make a skeleton and throw the skeleton there immediately. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Put you there. Make a skeleton. Put the skeleton there. It'll probably just show me the skull again. Yeah, so skull. skull. Um, I don't know how we deal with this. How do we kill the force mage? And to get to the practice mage. I'm not sure how we can kill this. All right, give me another skeleton. We'll just do this for now. Okay, so that is arm. So skull arm. So we need to kill you again. That's a problem. Or eventually he'll push and that'll come forward and we can kill you. Um. Yeah, I don't really want to do much damage. Does none of them actually have power to attack me? I could just get one point in now. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get one point in, so skull arm. We've got a problem. So he should move forward, but that doesn't really help me. Um, or do we have to kill this? 
If we have to kill this, that's a bit of a problem. I've got too much defense. We're a very defense-heavy deck here. I'll have to kind of wait for the wolf to come out, maybe. Alright, let's just sit on it. Okay, skull, arm, wing. Alright, we're good. So now we can just kind of do whatever. So we'll throw you there. And there isn't much point doing anything else. So skull, arm, wing. Now we just have to win. Unfortunately, I'm not getting a lot of attack stuff. Just keep making skeletons. And we'll just keep making skeletons. Okay, we need another death. So we'll put you out. We'll build up some bones. Or we can just do this. Yeah, I'll just do this. It's a little faster. And we'll kill you. Put you out. Good to go. Alright, skull, arm, wing. May not be in that order, though. Alright, did say, so skull, arm, and wing. Alright. Oh, you're just a head on a spike. Okay. That doesn't seem very nice. Just imagine you're an ice cube, slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear is... Well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me with the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. Okay, we've got a 1-3. If you control no mox cards, it perishes. You've got a ruby mox... And a ruby golem, when you die, you become a mox. Uh, not a great start for me here. So we could get out the mole man, of course. That might be my best choice. Uh, I think we'll have to sacrifice a bone heap to do it, because I might need the skeletons. So let's do this, and then we'll sacrifice you to put out the mole man, just to do some blocking. We will go ahead and play the Tomb Robber, make a skeleton. We'll have the skeleton just do some damage, that's fine. Okay, blocking good. Right, so... We'll just take out the one that's going to do damage. We could take them both. Yeah, why not? Okay, this one might be a little bit tougher. I do have two, so we could get out the bone heap and upgrade him. I could also just play the bone heap and make skeleton. I could make two skeletons. But he's gonna die. Either way. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, he went away because there were no moxes. We still have some blocking. Mox cards on the underside of the board gain one power, so that's dangerous if he gets moxes out. 
Um, let's see. I mean, I'd like to get more bones. Do I do that? Yeah, let's focus on bones. Okay, so we're in decent shape. Ah, uh, you're gonna die, which is unfortunate. Hmm. I can't really... I mean, we can get the wolf out, but that limits my bone production or removes a blocker. I don't know that you're going to do damage anytime soon. I think I'm actually going to wait. Okay. So we have some options. Let's make you stronger. I'll block you. And that's really all I can do. Okay, this one's actually a little bit tougher than I thought it would be. But we can get a good hit in. Actually, we can win right now. Um, yeah, we'll go up and power. Throw out a blocker. Good. Just took a little bit of time. Hmm. Perhaps I will not be central to his strategy. I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. <laughs> I would imagine. Take this pack. Magical gods. Yeah, this guy, Mage Knight. Actually, not too bad. Or lose. That's orange and blue. Orange mage. What the heck is this? Oh, it's our raven. And the walkers. When the walkers dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Well, that's kind of cool. But it does cost four as well. So hard to get out for only a one-two. But you get all the bones back when it dies. Is that worth it? I think it's hard for me to get that out. So I think I'll leave it. Go. All right, then. Uh, I am curious about this, though. Oh, that's just a fast way down. All right, so this should be one more of the kind of regular people here. Three notes and a chest. The note reads, the top sigil is found by the greedy. So probably at the chest. The bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing. Or by those who hear too easily. Oh. The middle sigil is found by the pale. Chest is empty save for a single card. It's a bunny! Uh, okay. Huh. You reach back in for more and notice a sigil where the card used to be. So, a wing. So the wing has got to be the top one. Bottom is found by the hard of hearing or those who hear too easily. There is something here. Middle found by the pale. Huh, nothing. Oh, there's actually a space there. Skull. But 
which one would that be? The pale or the hard of hearing? Pale, maybe? Okay. Uh, I mean, there's a door here. Can't interact with that. Hard of hearing. Does any of this have to do with sound? Not really. Huh. I only see the two. Let's take a look and see if there's another... Alright, there is another spot. Well, that's just the other direction. Skull. Is there anywhere else? I'm just going to kind of see if I can go any of the directions in here. Just there. So it just kind of goes up and around. Yeah, I don't know if this would be pale or hard of hearing. Huh. Nothing else... there, but sure, whatever. Was that all the way down to the bottom? Yep, okay. So maybe I have the order mixed up? I just have to guess the last one? I don't know. Um, so, okay, we've got that. So it started on arm. Okay, so if we go to Skull, then, instead, on the second one. Alright, so yeah, we just had to go through the options. At last! Sim stimulation! I thought it said simulation. My test has been sensory deprivation, you see. To unlock the full potential of my mind, you see. It's unlocked now. Hear me, Magnificus? I'm ready! We have to battle? Okay! Alright, he's very excited. It's SpongeBob here. Oh, what the heck is that? Gem Fiend. If you control no Mox cards, he dies. Hover Mage will strike an opponent. Yeah, so your Flyer and Sapphire Mox. All right, we'd like to kill the Sapphire Mox, please. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a good way to do that. So, um, yeah, I hate to do it, but we are going to sacrifice you to put out some damage. And then we will Draugr you. Enjoy that damage. Okay. So that's fine. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. We'll just get some extra bones. Okay, that's a force mage. I've seen those before. Um, yeah, we'll just block that. And we're fine. Super quick. That was incredibly stimulating. Wait, we aren't done here, right? I wish to see the light again, to, to sing, to dance. You wouldn't leave, would you? All right, Master Orlu, Airborne. When you deal direct damage, draw a card for each damage dealt. That's actually pretty powerful. Um, it's quite weak, though. But that is pretty good. Being able to draw additional cards is huge. It does cost two different ones to play. Yeah, I can definitely see building something around this. Could be kind of interesting, but I actually like my Undead deck. As weird as that sounds. If I open the door, you'll stop by on the way back and let me out, right? Uh, I'll let you out right now, if I know how to do it. Um. Okay, I can't look at the painting. <laughs> just leave. Huh. 
before I even talk to you. Can I do something? Ah! Tentacles in the water. Oh, maybe that's... There were some of the weird... Um, like, some of the cards had, like, weird tentacle monsters and stuff. But they were all like, in a way you couldn't read. Yeah. Kind of like this. I can't interact with that. Huh. So we just poked him, and that was it. Doesn't seem like I can do anything else. Okay. I guess we go talk to the uh, Christmas tree with the paintbrush. There's a note here, though. We'll take a look at that first, if I can. What do we got? The note reads, Dearest Grimora, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider... Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if we beat him, we're going to go to like another kind of game after this? Like, things have changed totally differently? Ah, you are here at last. How do my pupils fare? No matter. There are far more concerning issues at hand. Yeah, this guy, I think, might be dangerous. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay. You are the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. My eye aches with premonition. Uh, creepy. The future is very, very grim. First, we must battle. Behold, the brush of the Scribe of Magics. Okay. My pupils would die to be painted by it, and live forever as a card. Yeah, not interested. But that is not the full extent of its powers. This one needs some bleach. Oh, don't mess with my cards, dude. Now for a bit of color. Adding weird abilities to all of my cards? That's going to totally ruin my deck. You completely suck. Alright, well... Uh, green, orange, and blue. That's not good. Boxes have power. Number of green gems owners has on their side of the table. What the heck is this? Box cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Uh, when Skeleton is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit has zero power, one health. Box cards get better. Box cards get better. Yeah, that's really not good. Um, okay, well, I guess we'll do that. Skeleton pulls out a rabbit. Okay, my rabbit has quills. So that'll do some damage back, which isn't that helpful. Uh, so you're going to have some power. We'll put you opposite you, I guess. I can't actually do my normal stuff here because you're messing with all my abilities, which really sucks. So I guess we'll just go with it. At least we did some damage before dying. What the heck is that? Skeleton is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of box cards on your side of the board. Well, that's zero. Okay, you... We kind of need to kill. Because that'll save me some damage. So, we'll do that. Uh, yeah, you're ruining my deck. Without bones, I can't make my guys bigger and kill stuff. So that's very disappointing. Uh, I guess I will just have to have a blocker. For now. He's going to move up and do a bunch of damage. So I guess I've just got to block it. Yeah, 
Okay, he's giving me these magical base abilities. So yeah, it almost seems like you have to make a magic deck, maybe? Um, well, then he's going to get rid of your abilities anyway, so maybe it doesn't really matter quite so much. I just don't have a lot of offensive stuff. I'm relying on making skeletons or buffing my bone heaps to do lots of damage. Okay, let's... Doesn't so matter. We'll do that. We'll do that. It's just to s slow things down a little bit. Great. So he's not going to turn into something else when he dies. He's just going to die. Yeah, really helpful. Really, really helpful. Thanks. I'm relying on my abilities to do stuff, and I just don't have much of anything else I can do. Um, okay, this sucks, but we're going to do this. We'll play you opposite just so you can die. Okay, 3-1, we could do some damage. work on this. This might be his only mox. So killing this might be super important. But if uh, we're going to do one that offsets one of these, one more damage. Yeah, I'm going to lose. I have to kill one of these two. Right? So if I do one extra point, it'll be 4-2. Uh... So, yeah, I think I'll actually need one more point, so I think I'll be okay. Um, five, six, and I'll have an extra point. He needs to beat me by five, so he'll need one extra point. So I'm going to do this, just to start working on that mox. But now I'm in trouble. Okay, we did get a blocker. So we block... Uh, but now I'm dead, because it's only one point. Actually, what did I get? What does this ability do? Make a ruby mox. Yeah, I'm dead, unfortunately. Fail. We actually did okay. I think um, this might require making some adjustments to the deck. Because I have a lot of very small things as blockers and things that will give me bones, and that's going to just go out the window. So actually having like more revenants and... Hmm. Yeah, I hate to change it, but I'm going to have to change it, I think. So the draugers don't really do me much good, so we could change that quite a bit. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to change this in order to win this. But I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is we'll stop it here. Uh, we'll come back, make some changes, and then we'll give that a try. But I think I need some extra, like, because he's not affecting power and health. He's only affecting special abilities, which I rely on a lot with this combination. So if I can just get some beefier stuff that I can reasonably play, then that makes a lot more sense for me. Um yeah, so things like maybe one more Revenant, and then we kind of look at other options. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. So this has been more Inscription. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.